everyone. Welcome to Bud Walton Hall. We're going to give you our tour today. My name is Grace Safasi and I'm going to be one of your co-hosts for today. Hey everybody, my name is Hannah Barney and I am the coordinator for student leadership and I am co-hosting this tour with Grace. And you have a very nice matching mask yes. and out. Yes, thank very you. Well <laughs> awesome. So we are outside today to show you first and foremost our lovely view of Bud Walton Stadium. That's the football stadium that's right across the street. And that's where students will access the main gate, the student access gate, which is really awesome. And then over to our left is actually the student hyper and it's the recreation facility. And that's where all of our students go to work out or play basketball, um, all sorts of fun recreational activities over there. I think they have a pool too. They so do. It's, it's a rock climbing wall. Yes, that's right. All right, and you can also rent um, backpacking equipment. Yes, it's a really cool place to go. Definitely check it out. And they just finished paving out here on the road down here. So for those of you who have lived on campus before, you know how bumpy this road was down Stadium Drive, and now it is beautiful and repaved. So smooth. So smooth. So smooth. So smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and head on inside. We'll go ahead and get started on our tour. And if you're tuning in, we have about five people watching. We'd love to have you watch. Uh, let us know where you're from, and uh, we want to say hello. Oh, yeah. Um, also down this way before we head in, um, if you are a part of Greek Life or are going to be in a part of Greek Life, the Greek Life office is actually located down here at the bottom of Walton Hall. So. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Thanks, Anna. All right. So we're going to head in into Walton Hall, and we'll first show you we have a small little study area to your left. But we're gonna go right into one of our laundry rooms. So we have one of three laundry rooms in Bud Walton Hall. I'll take you into there. Full oh, wow. So this is one of our laundry rooms. And what's really great about our laundry services is that they come included in your fees. And so all you have to do is bring your laundry in here. And what's really great is we have a laundry service app. And so using the app will show you um, when your laundry is finished and when any sort of um, washer or dryer is actually open for you to use. So you don't even have to come down here. You can just check on your phone, which is a really cool um, app to use. Absolutely. And you can find out more about that at uh, housing.uark.edu forward slash laundry. You'll find more detail about that. All right, so we're actually going to go head up next to the front desk. So, And you said you're the CRE for this building. Um, how long have you been involved with the building, Walton, Walton Hall? Oh, yeah, so this is uh, going to be my second year at Walton. And so um, Walton has been really fun. Walton Hall actually is with upperclassmen students only. And so what's really fun is that we have a new program called Lead More. We're very excited. We're super excited. So it's a leadership development opportunity specifically designed for upperclassmen. And so if you um, are going to be in Walton, we really encourage you to check that out. And we'll provide more additional details um, in our links after we finish this video. So Sure. In the show links, as they yes. say, from a podcast. Yes, okay. that's right. All right. So this is our front desk. And so you will come here to pick up any sort of mail and your packages are actually gonna be at your zone desk, which is Gregson Hall. So we will have typically student staff here at the desk. If you have any questions um, or need to find any resources, they will be your first stop to go and they'll be able to help you. Sure, sure, okay. Kitchen, next stop? Yes, kitchen. All right, so this is also where the north side mailboxes are. So you're gonna have a code if you live on the north side. So that's all of our mail students. And if you live on the south side of Walton, you're gonna have a mailbox key. And that'll be um, on the various floors of the south side of the hall. So it's boys in the north, girls in the south? Yes. Okay. And then as you can see, this is our kitchen, our community kitchen. A great space. You know, it is one of the better kitchens. Like, it's pretty big and has a lot it's of very the... very big, and there's a couple tables, so you can socially distance in here, which is great. You can use the fridge to put your food in. And then we also have a mini food pantry in here because the VAC, the food pantry, is actually located in Walton as well. And so we partnered with them to have a mini food pantry in Walton, which is super exciting. Well, uh, you mentioned a food pantry. What do you, you mean that there's... You're talking about the... Um, 
the Walton food, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the food pantry that we have mm -hmm. in this yeah. building? Yeah, the um, on-campus food pantry. And so they partnered with us to, to build this. And so this is in Walton, so you can put food in or you can take it out if you need it. So this is a really good resource if you live in Walton. Take a penny, leave a penny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. All right. And so something to know about your incoming fall semester is that we will not have any equipment for the kitchen to use for checkout just to ensure the CDC guidelines for COVID. And so what I'd really encourage you to do if you are intending on cooking here is to bring your own equipment and so that you can have it and sanitize it yourself so um, you can use this awesome kitchen. I would imagine people make cookies and like pizzas and like all that kind of Absolutely. fun stuff in here. All sorts of good it things. Good in here. It does, that's right. So um, now that we're finished with the kitchen, we'll show you one of our two large recreation rooms. Okay, let's go. This one is on the north side and it is called the green room and you'll soon found out why. <laughs> okay, green. yeah, right, it's green, that makes sense. So we have some vending machines, we have our piano, which is great. And we have some common area over here with a ping pong table. And then over to my left, we have two study rooms. So if you're looking for a quiet space to study that's outside of your, um, your own single room, then you can always come here to study and there's whiteboards included in these spaces. Can we open it or is it locked? It may be locked. I've never been in there before. Oh, it's locked, but I think no I have a key. Oh, okay. So while she's unlocking the study room door, <laughs> I can also talk about the brown room, which is on the other side of the building. Mm -hmm. It's called the brown room for the same reason. This is called the green room, it's brown. Um, and there's study spaces there. There's a pool table, ping pong table, shuffleboard table, all the fun things. And it's a pretty big space too for studying. It is, and like really high ceilings too. Yes, very high ceilings. And then there's two TVs as well. So you can put, plug up and play games in there, watch movies, do all the fun things. Absolutely. It's a great place to hang out. And mm -hmm. um, often we will be hosting events in those areas. And so it's a great place to check out to see what's going on as well. Do we know if they're going to be socially distanced uh, in person events this, this semester or whether that's a great question. And uh, what I'd encourage you to do if you're going to attend any events is what we're having all students do is RSVP to all the events so we can track attendance to ensure that we have the max number of students there. And if we hit that max number, then we'll either turn students away or try to have a duplicate event so more students can attend events to have that support and thriving. Where do they RSVP? Right. They will RSVP on HogSync, which is really great. If you have not created your profile and put up a picture, I would definitely recommend doing that. If you're gonna be involved in any registered student organization, you should be having a HogSync profile and account and that way you can register for events, you can join clubs, and it's a great way to be socially involved on campus. H-O-G-S-Y-N-C dot yes. U-R dot E-D-U. Excellent, and you got this door open for us. Yes, so here's, here's one of the study rooms. So it just has a regular table and um, whiteboard, and you can close it for privacy, and... Oh, there's a Razorback. Yes, nice. there's a little Razorback, so... Um, yeah, so we have two of these, and they are the closed study rooms, and we also have some study rooms on the north side of, that are just open area study halls. Well, you know, these people are upperclassmen. They don't have a ton of questions, but they're enjoying seeing you. So that's awesome. Great. Well, thanks for tuning in with us. We really appreciate it. If you do have any questions, please just put it in the comment. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, I also brought our measuring tape, so we're going to head into a room and we're gonna do some dimension measuring and show you one of the north side rooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and the north and south are very similar, is that right? That's right, so the only difference between the north and south side rooms is that the south side rooms actually have completely movable furniture except for um, the sink area and we'll show you what we're talking about. Oh, thanks Hannah. <laughs> All right, so this is one of our areas that is the open study common space as well for the north side um, that you're just welcome. You don't need a reservation. You can just come in and Aren't these new chairs? they are new. Really nice. I just got everything. They're super comfy. They're very squishy. It's a good place to study. Flush, flush, flush yes. uh, bottom there. Come check them out. Nice. <laughs> good stuff. All right, so now we're completely entering on the north side 
And as you can see, we're entering on the outside. We're gonna room 228. It's like a it's like a hotel work. It is. It's really nice. It's a lovely view that you get to have. So we're gonna come on in. Welcome to this room. What's really great about this space is that it's a single room style that's paired with one other person and you will share one uh, bathroom with that other person. And so behind me is actually an office area. So this desk and shelving behind you is all stationary. And you lots also, yes, lots of storage. And you also have, whoop, Got it. lost you. Y'all with us? All right. So Live TV. Right. That's right. So what's great is you can move this bed wherever you want it. And if you would like, if you want it lofted, all you have to do is go to fix it um, on our housing website and you can ask for it to be lofted to whatever um, height you'd like. You can also loft it yourself with a mallet when you move in. Yes, that is right. So if you need that additional help. Sure. Um, uh, we do have a question come in from Emily and she hey, asks us. Hey, how often will the university sanitize the common areas to make sure there's no virus present? And uh, I can tell you a little bit about our um, investment in cleaning that's enhanced this year. Um, normally we clean bathrooms, at least in public spaces, uh, every day. Now we're going to be cleaning them every day of the week, including uh, weekends. Previously we didn't do weekends. And uh, cleaning them twice. And then sort of high uh, touch areas doorknobs, um, other areas where the hands just are constantly. We're going to be cleaning this periodically multiple times a day. I don't know that I've heard a number per se, but it's going to be significantly enhanced from wherever it was before. In fact, we've hired a new company to help us uh, do that as much as we can. Do you have any thoughts on it? Yeah, so um, the third party company is Absolute and they will be working in Walton specifically as well. And so what's really great is we're gonna have some additional sanitizing equipment at the front desk so that if you do use any of our common spaces, we ask that you wipe down the area. Um, and if you, if you prefer or feel more comfortable, um, you can grab some of those items to begin with to wipe down the areas just to make you feel more, more comfortable. Great, great. Okay. Well, here we are in the room. We'll take a look at the bathroom. Yeah, so this is towards the vanity area. We have a sink and some uh, permanent um, shelving. Down there, typically, students put their laundry basket and whatnot. You also have your stationary closet. So we'll go ahead and open that. So your standard rack, and then a lot of students just put, you know, like a movable little shoe rack down there. So... Okay. And this is not shared. This is private to this room. Yes, that is correct. So we're going to enter the shared space and this is, we kind of call it the Jack and Jill bathroom. And so you have your toilet and your shower. And this is the shared space that you're going to share with your suite mate. So this is their room on the other side. And so what I'm going to do after we pan out the shower area is I'm going to shut this door to show you each room has a cubby area, so I'm gonna lock this door so both sides can be locked so that you can have privacy with you and your suite mate. And so you have a cubby area for your towel bar and any additional toiletries that you may have. And you both have your, your own sides for that. A little space up here too. Yeah, so oh. I see a lot of people putting their own, um, their own little laundry baskets here as well, or uh, toiletry baskets, and kind of make the make the place your own. So, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Something that is unique to these rooms in Walton is also the control units for the air in here, because you are in a single room, so you have your own unit right in the in the room, so you can kind of put it at whatever temperature you like, which a lot of people enjoy. The yes. creature comforts, yes. good stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, um, let's go ahead and do a few measurements. Oh. Well, we do a mattress, that'd be a good one. And then now is the exact perfect time to ask us if you want any measurements for anything. And, and just so we can test, uh, Scott, do you happen to know what, what the sheet would say on mattress? Test, test our skills and All measuring. right, so this is one of the extra long mattresses. It's the 80 inches. Sounds about right. Yeah. 80, 80, 80 on the website. And 80 All right. right. Test it. Verify. Got my measurements correct. We can use uh, measuring tape. I know how to yeah, use right. it. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. 
Okay, uh, maybe another one. Let's get. Um, let's see. How about that uh, that vanity right there? That seems to be one that people a lot of times want to know about. Okay, so this vanity right here, you're going at 28 inches. 28 inches, and the depth of it. All right. The depth is going to be 23 inches. 28, 23. So okay. Look at the shelves that are in the wall over there sure. in the depth area. Never, never that's, hurts. That's a great idea. You never know, people might be watching later and they'll be like, hey, thank you for doing that. Yeah, absolutely. So the shelves over here, they are just going to be, can you hold that left side for me? Thanks. The shelves are 27 inches. 27 inches. Yep. The height, whoop. All right, the height is nine inches. Nine inches. The bottom one's a little bit longer. Bottom one is 17 inches. 17 on the bottom. And All then right. the, the depth of them. All right. That's going to be 11 inches. 11 inches depth. Okay. So it's a great place to put any like cute background, especially if you're going to be virtual this year and you have your laptop here. You can always create a cute little personalized background. So um, instead of just a wall. Yeah, that's great. Um, uh, so, you know, we have a number of students arriving and like, I don't know, 10 days, 11 days, 12 days, something like that. So what do you think, what would you, what would you tell them? What's the, what's the thing they should be doing today? Today, I would say relax, enjoy your time. You know, school's gonna creep up on you before you know it. Um, so enjoy the time that you currently have with your friends or family or who, whoever you're with. Um, I would encourage you to stay socially distant even though we're about to start the school year, it is gonna look a little bit different for everybody. And so just know we're on this together, we're gonna to figure it out, and we're gonna be doing a lot more virtual things to keep us all connected and, and um, encouraging you all to not stay isolated. Very good, very good. All right, well, um, you have any final thoughts or words? I, I think she said it all, just take care of yourselves and stay healthy so that way we can have a great semester. That's right. Great advice. Okay. Well, do you mind uh, waving us out, Grace? All right. Well, that concludes Walton Hall. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in a few weeks.